What is up Shark Army, it's me GameShark and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you the top 10 most popular mods of all time for Stardew Valley. These are the most downloaded, the most played mods ever since mods became a thing for Stardew Valley over two years ago. These still to this day get downloaded and played the most out of every single mod out there and we simply love them. I'm going to give you the top 10. I have all of these mods installed myself. You can find them all on Nexus Mods, there'll be a link link down below to each of them in the description if you want to check them out for yourself and I'm going to showcase them off today give a little information on what they do and why they are so popular and we're going to see which is the number one so let's get straight into it starting with number 10. Now this mod is relatively new compared to the other mods on the list but it's already climbing the list to be one of the most popular mods of all time and this is the Stardew Valley Expanded mod. Now rather than going into full detail with this I did do a showcase of this mod in a separate video fully showcasing the mod and giving you information about it so if you click on the top right button there's a little eye information button if you click on there it will take you to that video and you can go and see the mod in full detail and also I am doing a brand new modded play through series on Stardew Valley and I am also using the expanded mod on that. But briefly run down, this mod basically adds a lot more to Pelican Town. You've got new areas to explore. There is new quests, new stories, new NPCs to talk to. There's new buildings, a few things have changed around the town and it's just added tons of new things to the game. For example, the Adventures Guild has now moved from the top of the map down to the bottom of its own little pier and that's just one of many many things that has changed but I'd rather you guys go and explore and take a look at that yourself because there's lots to see and lots to check out and if you don't want to install it yourself like I said click on the video to see what the mod is all about because it is simply amazing and you can enter and explore Pelican Town in great detail compared to what you used to in the vanilla game. It's very well made, very popular and if you are getting fed up of Stardew Valley or you You've literally completed it loads of times. The expanded mod allows you to get that nostalgia back with tons of new things to explore and it just feels natural as if it's not a mod. It just feels like it's made for the game. So if you want to spice things up and add some new stuff to Stardew Valley, then the expanded mod is for you. Now let's get on to number nine. This mod is called the UI Info Suite. This essentially gives you details of things around your game without cheating. For example, when you are mining rocks, you will now see the XP points that you get and also there's a bar at the bottom left telling you the amount of XP points you've got in total and when you need to level up your mining skill. This goes with every activity you do, so watering crops, which is your farming skill, you've got mining, wood cutting, fishing, you will now see at the bottom left your XP points, which is amazing. And there's loads of new things as well, for example, you can, without checking the TV all the time, or even if you check the TV and you forget throughout the day, you've now got a little dice icon underneath your money. And it will tell you if you're lucky or you've got bad luck for that day and you can always keep on top of your luck just in case you forget to look at the TV and you're too far away from home. If you go into your inventory you'll now see the billboard. If you click on this just like your journal this will tell you the help wanted and things that get posted every single day rather than you having to go all the way down to the billboard in Pelican Town if you're far away and you just haven't got enough time to go there you can always check yourself with the billboard. You can go into the settings, if you press escape there's now a UI info mod options. This will give you a checklist of the things that you want to see, so we can go into detail with this. We can show the look icon, the level up animation, we've got the experience bar, the experience gain, we can see the townspeople on the map, we can see the birthday icon, the heart fills, the animals will show you when they need petting. We've got the calendar billboard button, you will see the crop times in kegs and casks. So let's check that out quickly. So for example here we've got a keg. I'm going to put the ancient fruit in there and if you highlight over it will tell you exactly how many hours and minutes in game that this will take to produce. So 166 hours and 30 minutes. So this is a very handy mod to keep a track of things in the game to give you a better understanding on how long things take and so you don't forget things. It's just a very handy mod and it's one that I've only just come across myself and I'm definitely using it in my Stardew Valley modded playthrough so yeah that's a quite handy mod right there so now if we go on to number eight 
And this mod is the beloved tractor mod, a very popular mod with the community. And this basically gives you a tractor garage that you can buy from Robin the Carpenter, and it'll give you a drivable tractor, which could be used to harvest water, plant crops, and also till soil. It's very, very handy. It speeds things up a little bit on the farm. Once you've installed the mod, you just come to Robin and you can install it on the farm. It costs 150,000 gold. You need some rare resources such as iron, iridium, and a battery pack to build it. So let's get it and check it out. So we have bought and built up the tractor garage and here is the tractor as you can see we can drive it around and if you select a tool whilst driving the tractor for example if we select the hoe as you drive this will till the soil now it's not very fast but if you use speed buffs such as drinking coffee or eating certain foods it will speed things up which is very nice and it could become one of the greatest tools ever in Stardew Valley. You can see why it's a very popular mod. Now if you want to plant some seeds you just get some seeds select them with the tractor whilst driving and this will plant them in the ground as you can see we've got some ancient fruit seeds right here it's going to tell you exactly how long they take to grow with the ui sweet info mod that we've got and if you want to water these with the tractor just select your watering can and it's as simple as that guys the tractor mod one of my favorites i thought it'd be higher up in the model list but of course it's not as popular as the other ones and it's not been out as long but people are still crazy over it Okay, so number seven, the next mod, is called Automate. A very popular mod, it has been for many years now, and this mod basically allows you to make chained productions, and it automatically produces and takes items from the crafting machines, puts them into chests, and it just works constantly without you having to do anything, and it's amazing. So I'm going to set up a little example of one now, and let's see... Uh, what we can create and show off the amazing mod okay so here is a little production that i've got going on here in the middle of course is a chest we have got some recycle machines going on the edge and if you do fishing and you have some driftwood for example you can place driftwood inside this chest this will automatically go into the recycle machines and eventually these should produce wood and then that wood they produce should go straight into the chest and then we have also got some charcoal kilns which turn wood into coal so that'll take the wood from the chest produce coal and then you've got a furnace here which can take coal and then if you fill this chest with a few all every time you do a bit of mining it will automatically uh, create a few bars as well so as you just seen there it popped up the wood automatically went straight into the chest and now you need 10 wood to make one coal so it's going to take a while for the driftwood to produce wood but you can always get driftwood around and you can always easily get wood and even if you just chop some trees down every time you've got a bit of spare wood place it in there and it's going to do it for you okay so i went to sleep let's go and see how the production is coming along as you can see they are all moving around now we go into the chest, we have got driftwood which is producing wood, the wood is producing coal and then you, I have placed some iridium ore in there for an example and that is now creating iridium bars. So we've got wood on the go, we've got coal on the go and we've got bars on the go. That is a great little production, it's automatically doing it, it's automatically collecting everything into the chests. As you can see guys, I've sped up the production using a cheat and this is how it's working. Everything's getting made and it's automatically placing it into the chest. And it's all working because every item that these need is right there in the chest. And look at that. It's just producing everything automatically for us. Obviously, it's not going to be that fast because we've sped it up. But that's just an example. The Automate mod, one of my personal favourites. Standing in at number 7 proudly. If you haven't tried it, use it guys. It's incredible. Let me turn this off because damn, I'm going to be rich. Now, let's go in to number 6. And this mod is pretty simple and this is the CJB show item sell price. It does exactly what it says on the tin. Hover over your items and it will tell you their price. Either the single item or what it sells for in a stack. For example, we have managed to get 999 crystal fruit wine. Don't ask me why, it was a successful winter. If you hover over the item, you can find out exactly what the amount of money you're going to make from that stack or a single item without having to go to sleep and wait till the end screen once you've shipped it. Very useful if you want to know exactly how much you make in a day or per item without having to sleep to do it and it's quite popular as you can see. Number six, a lot of people are downloading and using this mod and it's very very simple, straightforward. I've been using it since it came out because it's just a handy thing to have and yeah that's it, six. Very simple, show item sell price by CJB. Now moving on to number five. 
This mod is another popular one, we're halfway through right now, and this is another simple mod, which people just love. Now, Eric Brown should take inspiration from these mods, because they are very simple, but they are very much downloaded, so it's a mystery of why Eric, the developer, didn't implement this into the original game, but this one is the Gift Taste Helper. Now, basically, you're going to be able to see exactly everybody's favourite items on the calendar. So, if you go into the calendar, you hover over somebody's birthday, for example, the Mayor Lewis, and it will tell you everything that he loves his favorite gifts and it gives you an idea of what gifts to give them for the birthdays for example and you can see what each character loves in the game without having to search the wiki or learn about the character by trial and error it's very simple easy to do we all want to know what items npcs love because it's a pain in the neck trying to figure out what they are obviously i'm using new items in the game because of mods so you might see some items on there that you haven't got but yeah that's the basic gists of this mod you can also go into your social tab and hover over every person that you see that you've spoke to and it will also tell you their favorite gifts through there as well rather than having to go to the calendar so you can use it either way social tab if you've introduced the people already and you've learned about them because as you can see the people we haven't met you can't find out their items you've got to actually introduce yourself to them first so there's two ways of finding that out and there we go that's number five guys moving on to number four kind of similar to what we've just been through with the this gift taste helper finding out people's favorite gifts for the birthdays etc but well, number four is called look up anything and rather than just finding out people's favorite gifts you can find out everything else too all you need to do is hover over an item or a character or an object or a crop and press F1 key and it'll bring up a lot of information about whatever item you've selected. So let's go into the shop, let's find out more about Marnie. So if you ho hover your mouse over her and press F1, as you can see, it's going to bring up a little box. It's going to tell you details about Marnie, her birthday, her friendships with you, and it's going to tell you her loved gifts, her liked gifts. And if you scroll further down, oh, there's so many items in the game that I've got. Holy smokes. This is going to take a while. <laughs> oh my god. When you see all the items that you've got in the game, you can find out her neutral gifts, ones that she's not going to hate or love. And it's as simple as that, guys. It's a very easy mod. If we go up to Jazz, she's in a bedroom. We can't speak to her, but we can press F1 because she's there. And we can find out everything about her as well. Her birthday, what she loves the most. Very similar to the mod we've just been through on number 5. But this goes into more detail because you can check items of everything. For example, if we go onto this tree here, press F1, it's going to tell us if it's got a seed on it, you know, when you shake it, if it's going to drop one or something like that. It'll tell you what tree it is as well, and also the growth stage, like it's fully grown. There's a forage item on the floor, let's press F1. It's going to tell us everything about this horseradish. It's going to tell us what we need one of these for, so we need it for the community centre. And it's going to tell us how much it sells for, who we can sell it to, and who loves and likes the, this item, and the recipes with it, how many we've owned and crafted. It's a very useful model if you want to find out everything in the game of every item every person you name it it's a handy mod that people love now let's go to the top three can you guess what they are guys do you have these mods yourself what haven't i mentioned yet in the top 10 let's see if you guys are right okay guys so in at number three we have got the cjb item spawner exactly what it says on the tin again you can spawn in any item you want in the game this is a, a, a cheats mod which obviously allows you to go into the item spawner by pressing i on the keyboard and you can spawn in whatever item is in the game it's tools equipment seeds crops you can spawn in the quality of this you can even spawn in decoration items and miscellaneous the things that aren't even meant to be in the game that you can buy or even access but you can spawn in anything have fun with it this is more for advanced players who have completed the game and they've got a little bit bored and fed up and they just want to experience different things and it always does come in handy for me for example making videos and if i need a certain item rather than waiting years to get it for example the red cabbage you can only get it in year two if i needed to use this to show you guys or for any other reason i can spawn one in as you can see we've got a red cabbage we can spawn in some juice we've got the seed we've got some pickled red cabbage it is incredible and it is obviously a very cheaty sneaky mod but it's popular and you guys love it and as you can tell it's number three for a reason not much more to say about it it's as simple as that let's get on to number two shall we so number two is called npc map locations if you go into your map this will allow you to see where every npc is in the town at any given time without having to run around the map like a lost chicken we can now see exactly where people are so if you want to talk to a certain person or you need to give them a gift or do a quest 
and you've not got much time in the day, this will tell you exactly where people are. Although for some reason we're seeing two Lewises here. Not sure what's going on there, apparently there's two Lewises roaming around. But yeah, a very awesome mod, and it's been loved and downloaded for many years by all of you guys who use mods. And this should be a feature that should be in the original game in my opinion, because it is a pain in the neck trying to find a certain NPC. Time goes fast, you know, and they've all got their own little routines, and it's just hard to find people, so this is just a, a great idea to see where they are. Maybe the... Eric could implement this into the game, for example, by buying a, an advanced map in a shop after a certain amount of time or for a certain price, and this will allow you to see NPCs somewhere. Like, it should be something you can buy in the game later on down the line, but that's just my opinion. But yeah, that is number two, the NPC map locations. You can see where all the people are without having to run around like a lost chicken and guess. And even if you've got some new people, like Soren, you can always see him on the map as well. You'll see all the new people you've got in the game if you're using the expanded mod or whatever mod you're using. Oh, speaking of the expanded mod, this is a cutscene, which is obviously new, a part of that mod, which was number 10. But if you do want to see that, make sure you do watch that video with the link that I've provided and you can see the expanded mod in greater detail. But now we've made it to number one the most downloaded the most popular stardew valley mod of all time since mods became a thing for this game many years ago and you guys love it it's been downloaded hundreds of thousands of times that's just on nexus mods it's probably been downloaded elsewhere as well and this is called cjb cheats menu i guess you guys just really love cheating in games Shaking my head guys. So the cheats menu is similar to the item spawner, but rather than pressing I, if you press P on the keyboard, well I don't know what you've set it to, you can change this in the controls, but when you press P for me, you can change everything. You can have infinite stamina, health, you can have infinite speed, you can have one hit kill, daily luck, you can give yourself money, you can do everything guys, you can cheat the game to the max. Change the weather, the time, you can teleport wherever you like. I mean, yeah. Look, if you want to be invincible and be the richest person ever without playing the game, this mod is for you. But, it does ruin the experience of the beloved Stardew Valley. So I do recommend you being advanced and you've complete this game without the cheats first, and then you can experiment with this. Or if you are a Stardew Valley creator on YouTube like me, the cheats menu is incredible because it allows you to show and make videos without having to play through the days you know you can skip days you can skip time and be faster it just helps a lot but yeah but yeah that is number one the cheats menu it's obvious that there's a lot of people who like cheating i personally don't ever cheat this game unless i'm making a certain video i like to play through the game and earn my money myself when i'm actually playing the game that is and not making crazy videos like this but it does take away the fun i've never been a fan of cheating any game that is but i know a lot of people do and that is the greatest mod of all time for stardew valley the most downloaded that is as well it's funny because i made this video at least i can't remember a year or two ago now similar video to this showing off the most popular mods and the list hasn't changed that much there's a few different ones in there for example the ui info suite the tractor mod and the stardew valley expanded but the cheats menu item spawner the npc map locations the look up anything mod and even the automate mod is still on that list and they are still popular to this day which is understandable why, because it's just one of those mods that change the game, and that's what people like doing. But yeah, there we have it guys, that has been the top 10 most popular mods in history for Stardew Valley. The ones that you guys and the modding community love the most, including myself. You can find all these mods on Nexus Mods, you can even see yourself the popular mods on there. But I thought I'd break it down into video and do a little showcase of each of them as well. And if you did enjoy it, please hit the like button. Let me know your favourite Stardew Valley mods down below in the comments. Maybe some that I've not featured or that aren't popular with other people, but you really, really love yourself. The Stardew Valley Expanded mod is my favourite, and that came in at number 10, which made me happy. Because it is a new mod, but it's already getting up there, and I can imagine a lot of people using that many years to come with the game. Subscribe Subscribe if you're new around here to see more Stardew Valley content. 1.4 is on its way, the new latest update, and it's coming to PC first. So be sure, guys, to tune into the channel and watch all of this new, exciting, fresh content that the developer is going to put into the game. Apparently, it's one of the biggest updates yet. There are tons of things to check out, multiplayer and single-player content. You can see it all here first on the GameShark channel. So hit the notification bell to stay tuned to that because it's not long away. That is all I'm going to say. Thank you all for watching. That's all we've got time for so i'm gonna wrap things up down we've made 54 iridium bars in this video Whew, love that automate mod thanks for watching guys have a great day stay safe stay awesome see ya yeah, yeah.